I'm Jitsa Puente with two works for you. Here are today's top stories. Tulsa police arrested a man accused of assaulting a woman and attempting to break into another home. Investigators believe that Jawan Mason abused the victim inside her home near 31st Street and Sheridan. They say that victim went to another house for help. Then Mason allegedly started making threats on Facebook, then went to where that victim was staying and tried to break in. He is facing multiple charges. Well, there's two more days left for recovery help to victims who suffer damage from mace flooding. FEMA specialists will be on hand at home improvement stores today and tomorrow. Mitigation specialists will be in Tulsa, Muskogee and Claremore at several Lowe's and Home Depot stores. They'll be giving out tips and techniques to help repair homes and details on flood insurance and safe rooms. The help will be available until 530. And a road project could cause some delays for Tulsa drivers. Crews are working on a water line near Sheridan and Pine. North Sheridan Road will be closed between East Pine Street and East Queen Street. The work is expected to last until 5 tonight. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Hey Kerrigan. Hey, well, the extreme heat is taking over all of eastern Oklahoma. We're seeing a heat advisory out in effect as well as an excessive heat warning. That's going to include Tulsa, Stillwater, Bartlesville, McAllister, off toward Poto. We all can expect heat indices ranging from 110 to 115 throughout the afternoon. If you have any lunchtime plans, already starting to feel like 106 by that time as we go throughout the evening, going to feel like 114 by 5 p.m. Tomorrow might be even warmer than today. We are looking at a high of triple digits, near 100 degrees for the start of your work week, just ahead of a cold front passing through on Tuesday afternoon. It's going to bring some isolated showers and storms, but good news, it's also going to bring some cooler temperatures as we go into Wednesday and Thursday. So relief is on the way. Just get through a couple more days of heat. All right, thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more updates throughout the day.